Okay, just good evening, ladies and gentlemen, to the planning board meeting. Tell me, uh, the planning board meeting is about the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America. America. and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. With that being said, uh, just keep the people in the south in your in your thoughts, because it's going to be pretty devastating what's going on down there. It already happened, and. Uh, See, there's some fundraisers out there throughout our area. People donations. There's a truck going out of Dover. If anyone wants to donate, um, it's Dover Town Hall at the VFW. There, uh, any perishable goods and stuff they're looking to send down. Mm -hmm. So please do. With that being said, we have uh, um, going to our regular meeting, a public hearing on um, Lombardo's uh, Timber Harvest, 364 Old Route 22, Wasake, New York. Um, John, you want to go up first? Uh -huh. it, it, this is a very simple project. They're looking for a timber harvest. Uh, their application was reviewed by the consulting forester on behalf of the town. Um, he found it to be satisfactory. Uh, there are letters from New York State DEC regarding certain parameters that have to be followed. There's a letter from OPRHP, Office of Parks, Recreation, and Historic Preservation. It says there's no impacts um, to archaeological or cultural resources. And um, there is a uh, referral from the county, which identifies this as a matter of local concern. So as far as you're concerned, all the boxes have been checked. Um, it's now uh, appropriate to open the public hearing and see if there's any public comment. Time to open the public hearing. The public hearing is now open. Is there any public comment? Go ahead, go up to the mic and state your name and your so forth. Hi, uh, my name is George Mastranson. I, I don't have any objection to this project. I don't really know much about it, but I, I just thought I'd take the opportunity to wonder if it is in the interest of this community um, if that um, that we preserve our forests, that they be eventually become old growth forests. And if, if um, the foresters are taking that into account. Um, so I just, I just wanted to make, make, make that. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's one thing if the trees are diseased, uh, uh, but I think there, there should be an effort to preserve the old trees, the trees that are, are going to um, be the moms and paws of the of the of the new growth, and um, I don't know. I, I think we should take it very seriously. That's um, if I may, Mr. Yes, Chairman. Um, in response to your question, this is actually a managed forest, and it is under a, a program monitored by DEC. And um, th exactly what you're seeking is being done. They are preserving vegetation that needs to be preserved. The rever this is a selective harvest, so they're removing damaged and other trees. And um, their intent here is to open up the, the land area to allow new growth and to it, be able to encourage uh, new growth in this area. So it is a managed forest. That's why it's looked at by our consulting forester. That's why there's a DEC program in place. So um, hopefully um, the, way this, the, the, the way this has been progressing, um, this forest is, is managed with the exact intent that you're seeking, sir. Okay, thank you. Is there any other public comment? Is there any other public comment? So this is another public comment. The uh, public hearing is now closed. Um, next stage is um, time to move on to the resolutions. Uh, I have this one. Okay, go ahead. Sure. Um, John, on part three, the third paragraph, um, as I was looking at it, it just says between November 1st and March 31st. Do we have to put the years in there, or is that understood? That, that's understood. Okay. Yeah, and, and matter of fact, if you go further, Paul specifies, because it's going to be a two-year harvest. So, um, okay. So what you have in front of you, Mr. Chairman, is a series of, of documents that you need to march through. Yep. Uh, the first one would be a short environmental assessment form, part two and part three. The next would be, if we get through that successfully, would be a, to take a quick look at the negative declaration. The, ne the next would be a resolution adopting the negative declaration, and then you would be allowed to move on to the resolution granting site plan approval. If I may, um, I can start with yes, uh, part two. 
Um, you should have in front of you a draft. Again, I apologize. I, I didn't get prodded from Paul until late. Um, and you probably got three copies in there. Um, the last one is the most appropriate. I corrected all my errors. Um, part two is to be completed by the lead agency. Um, you will notice there are a series of questions, one through 11. These questions are answered in response to the record that's been established, as well as the information provided by the applicant in both their forest management plan and their short environmental assessment form, excuse me. <clears throat> This is an unlisted action. Um, it, an uncoordinated review was conducted. You're the only entity basically involved. So if you go through each of the questions, based on the information, they have been checked. No or small impact may occur. There are no significant um, environmental impacts likely to occur as a consequence of this. The next page um, is determination of significance. Since there really are no significant impacts, um, what I did here is I just added some facts so that the record is complete. Fact number one, as I said, it was reviewed, the plan was reviewed by your consulting forester and accepted by him on behalf of the project. The New York State DEC in a letter indicated that the timber harvest can only take place between November 1 and March 31 of any given year, and that the guidance, they also offered some other guidance, and they require that um, forest management, they don't have a lot of standards, but they have what they call best management practices. So long as they are incorporated into the program, which they were from the outset, um, there should be no impact to threatened or endangered species. And it's important to note, as I, as I mentioned, that the reference recommendations are incorporated into the action. And then the last is that the New York State Office of Parks, Recreation, and Historic Preservation in, indicated no impact. As a consequence of that, at the bottom, it says, check this box if you have determined, based on the information and analysis above, any, and any supporting documentation that the proposed action will not result in any significant adverse environmental impacts. And um, that, that we'll, we'll get further, but if that's acceptable to you, I will sign it and then it needs to be signed by the chairman. So as long as you have no major objections, we can consider that taken care of. Okay, the next on that, you should have a document uh, submitted by Paul Van Cott, which is a negative declaration, a notice of determination of non-significance. And um, basically, it, it, you're used to this form. Um, the important parts are uh, the description of the action, which we all know. The next is that the planning board has carefully considered the proposed action, has the potential to result uh, in any, has considered whether the proposed significant adverse impacts on the environment. And for the reasons set forth below, uh, a secret negative declaration is appropriate and an environmental impact statement will not be required for the action. Um, basically, this is pretty much all the standards. It says you've looked at the appropriate provisions of the law, you've looked at the information submitted, and you've identified that there's really no impacts um, and that it's appropriate to, for this document to be completed. Um, if you've got no objections with that document, what you would then turn to is a resolution and not adopting a negative declaration under the New York State Environmental Quality Review Act dated today, October 9th. If you wish, Mr. Chairman, I can read the now, therefore it be yes, resolved. Yes. It says, um, now therefore be it resolved as follows. The planning board issues a seeker negative declaration for the proposed action, concluding that it does not have the potential to result in any significant adverse environmental impacts and that an environmental impact statement is not required. And number two, the planning board adopts and incorporates herein by reference the attached written negative declaration for the proposed action under seeker and number three, the planning board directs that the attached negative declaration be filed as required by the seeker regulations in 6NY CRR section 617.12. You need a motion, a second, and then a roll call vote, please. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. 
Um, the following resolution was voted upon by all members of the planning board, voting as follows. Robert Boyles, Jr., chairperson. Yes. Nina Peake, deputy chairperson. Yep. John Stephanopoulos is absent. James Walsh is absent. Walter Dietrich. Yes. Kenneth Topolsky. Yes. And Jamie Vidiello is absent. The, you got four votes, motion carries. You've adopted the negative declaration. You are now free. Paul has uh, further prepared a, uh, a resolution granting site plan approval. And again, you, you've seen these before. Yes, if you wish, I will read the now, therefore be it resolves for your yes, convenience. Please. And if I'm reading too fast, you can slow me down. You're doing just fine. <laughs> fast enough. Now, therefore be it resolved that in accordance with the zoning law and New York State town law, the planning board hereby conditionally approves the application for timber harvesting on the property and be it further resolved that pursuant to the zoning law and New York State town law, the planning board hereby authorizes the planning board chair to stamp and sign the approved site plans, site plan approval upon the applicant's satisfaction of the following conditions. Number one, confirmation that any remaining comments from the planning board's engineer and forestry consultant have been addressed to their satisfaction. And number two, confirmation of payment of any and all fees, including any outstanding invoices of the planning board's consultants incurred in connection with the application. And be it further resolved that prior to undertaking the project on the property, a financial guarantee Parens, i.e., bond, cash, letter of credit, etc., shall be submitted to the planning board in the amount of $5,000 to ensure proper erosion control, stormwater management, reforestation, maintenance, and protection of roads on and off the property from damage relating to the timber harvest, stormwater, or trucking. The final the financial guarantee must be approved by the town attorney and the town board as to form, sufficiency, manner of execution, and surety. And be it further resolved that the project shall be undertaken in accordance with the guidance and best management practices provided in NYC New York State DEC July 30, 2024 letter and only between November 1, 2024 and March 31, 2025. Prior to any undertaking of the project after March 31, 2025, the applicant shall provide the planning board with a new determination from DEC that no threatened, endangered, and threatened species incidental take permit is required for the project and once provided shall limit on any undertaking of the project to the period between November 1, 2025 and um, November, March 31, 2026. Um, that's because the DEC's in letter is only valid for a period of one year. It, they're typically renewed, but we're just, this is belt and suspenders and that ends the editorial. Um, be it further resolved that in accordance with section 121-68E of the zoning law, one, the site plan approval shall expire if the applicants fail to commence the project within 18 months of the effective date of this resolution. Two, the site plan approval may be revoked by the planning board if the, application, if the applicants violate the approval or its conditions or engage in any timber harvesting not authorized by the approval. And three, any violation of this site plan or approval of or its conditions shall be deemed a violation of the loaning, zoning law and shall be subject to enforcement action. And be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution shall be filed in the office of the Town of Amenia Town Clerk within five days of the date of this resolution and should be mailed to the applicant within that same day, five day period. Be it further resolved that this resolution shall take effect immediately. Motion, second, roll call vote, please. I'll make that motion. Need a second. I just have one comment. Uh -huh. um, at the bottom of page two, the uh, guarantee of uh, surety, um, the town board is required, is there in our code that they have to approve yes. the $5,000? Yes, because that letter of surety is posted with the town. It is not posted with you. Okay. So you, you set the amount 
but the town ha the town has to accept it. And they have two meetings before the November 1st. Will this get to them um, to be on their next meeting? Or is that, I just don't it, want to it, hand it's them It's usually a formality, but it happens pretty quickly. Um, I don't know if it'll make it, but... Okay. Usually, Mr. Prentice is relatively prompt in making sure that that shows up. This isn't his first. Okay. And I think um, uh, Ian, the town attorney, is familiar with what's required. Okay, thank you. So, second, please. Second. The foregoing resolution was voted upon with all members of the planning board voting as follows. Robert Boyles, Jr., chairperson. Yes. Nina Peak, deputy chairperson. Yes. John Stephanopoulos is still absent. <laughs> James Walsh continues to be absent. Walter Dietrich. Yes. Ken Topolsky. Yes. Jamie Viriello is the same absent person. The man received the majority of the board. It passed and is successful. That closes the matter. Okay. Other matters. Well, we can't approve 9-11 because the, the people who are here and the rest of us are here on 9-25-24. Did you all read the minutes? I did. I have some changes, but I'll just, there's nothing substantive. They're just points okay. of clarification. I'll give them to Judy. Okay. Need approval to... I move that we approve the minutes from, sorry, 925 9-25 as amended. <laughs> Need a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Is there any other... Any other Unfinished business we need to discuss, ladies and gentlemen. As I see none, I need a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 See you all in a couple weeks. Boy, that was